So I recently got this unique looking tripod head from Manfrotto and I wanted to share a bit about this head and what it's used in and basically why it's something that you should consider if you are an architectural photographer, a landscape photographer, or even someone who shoots products or macro. Of course, this is a three-way geared head and this is specifically designed to give you the ability to make precise adjustments in your framing. Let's take a look at it. So the official name is a three-way geared head and it is called such because of this primary reason. We have three different knobs and each knob controls its individual axis of movement. One knob is for rotation, one knob is for forward or backward tilt, and one knob is for lateral tilt. And the point of using a geared precision head, I prefer to call it geared precision head because it really is precise. It gives you the ability to make precise, even very small but precise adjustments to your framing. And in my work as an architectural photographer, this is very crucial. You can take so much time if you're using a ball head because you don't have full control of the adjustments that you're making. You're basically just unlocking, moving, and locking, which is basically very much risky in terms of making unwanted movements and adjustments. With a geared precision head, every turn, the slight turn of each knob, makes a very precise adjustment of your framing. Of course, what I'm using now is the Manfrotto MHX Pro 3WG, the newest geared head in the Manfrotto line of tripod heads. And usually geared heads are a bit slower or it takes a bit more time to set up because again you're gonna make very small adjustments with the turn of the knobs but conveniently for this one they added another mechanism which is a spring clamp mechanism pretty much like how bicycle brakes are used and the spring clamp lock mechanism actually allows you to make the fast but big movements for you to be able to set up easier. And when you have made those big movements, you just adjust them with the knobs to make your precise adjustments to achieve your perfect composition and framing. And what I like about this specific version of the Manfrotto geared head is it's actually very light. This is made out of technopolymer and it only weighs about 750 grams. So it doesn't really add so much bulk into your gear, especially when you're gonna use this for landscapes. And that's really valuable because this thing and the things that it allows you to do is actually very valuable for, for meticulous compositions in landscape photography. So to help you set it up, there are actually three different bubble level indicators and each one pertains to each axis. And this will give you the ability to achieve a leveled composition even if you're standing on an even ground. So when you set it up, this knob is actually for panning. And you can control it with the spring lock mechanism and let go of it, then eventually make your precise adjustments using the knob. This second knob controls forward and backward tilt, and this can help you achieve very strict verticals, which is crucial for architecture and interior photography. And of course, this last knob controls your lateral tilt from side to side and makes sure that your horizon level is straight. So one of the easiest applications of this is it can actually help you do more refined panorama shooting. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna do a very quick five image stitch of this entire structure and show you what it can do.
Into the night, I switched to a Sony 200-600mm to, to create the largest panorama of a cityscape I've ever created. But more of that on my next video. So there's obviously definitely more things that you can do with this very unique um, tripod head. And if you have any questions about this product or maybe you want to learn more about my workflow in architectural photography and shooting interiors and everything like that, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and of course, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.